At the 9th KSK Armament Symposium, General Dynamics European Land Systems, DELS, showcased a new variant of the Pander Evolution, tailored specifically for Special Forces missions. This unveiling marked the first public presentation of this advanced iteration, which highlighted the vehicle's enhanced capabilities for specialized military operations. The vehicle displayed is based on a modified 6x6 Pander Evolution platform, with several mission-specific upgrades. A remotely operated weapon station with a 30mm auto cannon was one of the key features, along with an anti-drone protection net and canisters designed to carry and launch switchblade 300 Block 20 loitering munitions. Although these features reflect the vehicle's potential, Dells provided minimal details regarding the vehicle's specific performance, weight, or mobility. The vehicle was presented as a potential mission variant, and no customers have been confirmed to adopt this specific configuration. Dell's representatives also declined to comment on whether this design could serve as a basis for the Armored Ground Mobility System, AGMS, heavy platform vehicle, leaving room for speculation regarding its future applications. Compared to the standard Pander Evolution, this Special Forces variant includes three notable modifications. First, the vehicle's chassis has been shortened at the rear, significantly reducing its empty weight to under 15 tons, although this does not account for mission-specific equipment. The vehicle's total authorized weight stands at 19.5 tons, with a payload capacity of around 3 tons. Second, it features a ballistic driver's cabin, offering protection while maintaining situational awareness under fire. Third, the engine cooling system has been modified to enhance durability and operational longevity in extreme environments. Despite these upgrades, the vehicle retains the same powertrain as the standard Pander Evolution, which includes a Cummins Isle 450 diesel engine delivering 335 kilowatts of power, paired with a ZF6 speed automatic transmission. These mechanical components are known for reliability and rugged performance in both urban and off road environments. The Special Forces variant's compact dimensions, with a width of 2.6 meters and a height of 2.2 meters, allow it to be air transportable by C 130 aircraft, a critical requirement for rapid deployment in special operations. Dells did not provide specific details about the vehicle's armor configuration, but it is expected to meet or exceed Stanag 4569 Level 3 standards, providing protection from small arms fire, shrapnel, and mines. Additionally, the vehicle is likely equipped with supplemental armor systems from rainmetal protection systems. Although Dells did not disclose further details about the vehicle's interior, the inclusion of the armored driver's cabin and advanced cooling system suggests the layout is designed for optimal mission flexibility. The armored engine cooling system, similar to previous AGMS versions used by U.S. Special Operations Command, USACOM, doubles as additional storage space for mission equipment. While the vehicle on display featured impressive equipment like the 30mm auto cannon and loitering munition canisters, Dells hinted that these may be demonstrative rather than definitive components. The size of the weapon station, for instance, limits the vehicle's ability to be easily transported by air, which could preclude its inclusion in future AGMS configurations. Given the wide range of mission-specific modifications that have been observed on AGMS vehicles already in service, it is likely that the final Special Forces variant of the Pander Evolution will differ in terms of equipment and armor. AGMS vehicles typically feature advanced communication systems, sensors, and remote weapon stations, all tailored to the unique requirements of Special Operations Forces. The Special Forces variant of the Pander Evolution, revealed by Dells at the KSK Armament Symposium, reflects the company's commitment to developing versatile and adaptable platforms for modern military operations. With its compact design, enhanced protection, and potential for a wide range of mission-specific equipment, this vehicle is poised to support a variety of specialized tasks in both urban and battlefield environments. However, as the platform is still in its early stages of development, further refinements and customer-specific adaptations are expected before it becomes operational. The vehicle's presentation offers a glimpse into the future of Special Forces mobility, where advanced technology, modularity, and protection converge to meet the growing demands of modern military engagements.